This getting started video is about showing you the getting started screen and beginning the first task of connecting your existing software to Office 365. So when you log in for the first time, you would have gone through the process of changing your username, your password to um, something that you know and you've met the complexity requirements of being at least eight characters long and using a combination of letters, numbers and symbols, uh, upper and lowercase letters. So this is a common screen and you'll see this for about a month after you've had um, your new account after which it will log straight into your Outlook web app so you'll be able to view um, your email from within the browser. So to get you started uh, this section here shows you the three ways that you can access Office 365. You can access it online, you can access it using a PC or a Mac or you can access it from your phone and tablet. And each of these sections can guide you through a bit of help. So we've selected online and as we select each of these sections and of um, Office 365 we get this area here that shows us some of the uh, help articles that we can go to. So we won't browse through those but that's um, something you can do in your own time. And in the PC and Mac section, if you've been um, lucky enough to have an E3 license or you've had Office Pro Plus added to your subscription, you'll have the ability to download and install Office directly from this web browser. And so it will install all these apps in one go. Um, in most cases, it's good to leave it as English United States. Um, you don't have different varying types of English like English New Zealand that I might choose. You just That's just the installation language, that's not necessarily the language that you will be installing and using in Office. And in most cases choose 32-bit because you will have applications um, that are add-ins that will need to still communicate in 32-bit with Office. So we won't cover installing Office in this. But um, I will stop this video and show you another view of PC and Mac where some people who use an E1 license will um, be using existing software. They'll get a different choice that will take them through the desktop setup. And just as a final look, the instructions uh, for being able to connect your phone and tablet, depending on what platform you've got and you can click into these and get a help article that will show you how to do that. Thanks for watching.